Hey everybody, so it is October as I'm sure many of you are well aware. Um, so you know what that means, and it means a September favorites video. Um, and I have quite a few actually favorites this month, and let's just get right into it because I've got a lot. So we'll go ahead and start with beauty, I guess, and we'll start with what I'm wearing on my lips right now. And this is a Wet n Wild Mega Slicks bon Balm Stain Moisturizing Lip Color. Knitted it's in the number 124. And it's called Lady in the Vamp. And I really like it. I mentioned in my last um, favorites video, I actually talked about this one, which is the e.l.f. Jumbo Lip Gloss Stick in Sangria Starters. I talked about this one. Um, and I talked about I really like these kind of applicators because I have a hard time putting lipstick on and getting it to look all right, and these just make it much easier. Um, and so this is one like that, but this is um, Wet n Wild, as I said, which which is also a cruelty-free brand. So, and I talked about I wanted to get some more darker, more fall tones. So this is like a more, just like a dark purpley one. And then also from Wet n Wild, I got two more from Wet n Wild, but they're lipsticks, and. This one I'm not 100% sure about. It's called Vamp It Up Style Vamp. It's uh, number 919B, and it's a very dark purple, like very dark. Um, and I'm sure it looks like really good on a lot of people. On me, it doesn't look great on my lips. It's just kind of, um, I don't know. I'll need to give it another try because I just tried it on once, so give another try but this one this one is definitely like my favorite lip color like probably my favorite lip color, lip color that I have and it is wet n wild also and that is 918 D in cherry bomb and so it's just like a really dark deep red I've been wearing it quite a bit so it's the top one here and I just really like it it's really good for Fall, autumn, seasons, it'll be good for winter too, just the dark colors. Um, so moving on to the next brand, which I just discovered not too long ago. Uh, the brand is called BH Cosmetics, and they are cruelty free. And uh, and I saw this palette, I saw one of the palettes and I had to get it, and then I found another palette that I had to get. Um, but let's start with this. This actually came free with my order, and I just really love the packaging, so I got the you got an option on your free blush, what color you wanted, and I just went with this one. So it's rose, um, and this is what it looks like. I dab quite a bit of this on my brush and use it, and then I just like lightly dab my brush into this um, brighter one and just barely put it on. Um, so it's not too strong, but yeah, it does give me a little more color than just this one. So I'm really, really liking that. And the next one, this is actually the second one I found, and it is the Enhancing Eyes um, 12 color palette. So it's got 12 different colors, and it comes in three different um, palettes. I think it's three different ones, because this one is the Gorgeous Green Eyes, because I have green eyes, and they have a blue eyes and a brown eye palette. But this is the Green Eyes palette, and so it's supposed to like bring out your natural color and enhance it. So these are the colors that are in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I really like these, um, especially, I, I always like the, I always like the browns, um, and the more neutral tones, and, like, more natural tones, but these purples are also really nice. Oh, I should have put those on to go with my top and my lipstick. That might have been too much, I don't know. But, um, anyway, some really good colors, and they really do, like, bring out my eyes. Little leaping bunny, cruelty free. Okay, and then this palette is the one that I saw first. And I knew instantly I had to have it because it's so awesome. So here's what it looks like. It's called Galaxy Chic. And it's 18 color baked eyeshadows. So just prepare yourself. Look at that. It's so awesome. I love it. So each one of the colors has um, a word above it. So like this one's the sun, this one's Jupiter, um, this one's Prometheus, Aphrodite, Milky Way, Cosmic, etc. Um... And of course, I kind of stick to these three tones, the Mercury, Mars, and Asteroid. Um, and then I use like the lighter portions of Earth. 
and you can use this, it says you can use it dry or wet, you know, use a wet dry brush. And I really do actually like these three too, the uh, Moon, Pluto, and Neptune. They're very pretty. I just really like all of them. Yeah, so I really, really like this. Um, so, and they have sales quite a bit, so if you wait and um, just go on when they have a sale, you can get them for really cheap. Got like, all it, this was free with the order, and then I got, um, this was $9, and this was 5 which is really good for palettes, actually. So, affordable and cruelty-free. So, all, yeah, all my favorite things, and like, space-themed, I love it. So, those are, I think that, that's all my beauty stuff. Um, and the rest are just kind of bits and bobs that don't have any real, real category. So this next one is a candle, um, and I was wanting a pumpkin-y candle for my room since it is now autumn, and I love pumpkin. So this one is called Pumpkin Nut Bread, and I don't like, like, nut breads or nuts in my brownies or cookies or anything, except macadamia nuts. I love white chocolate macadamia cookies. But I don't like, like, pumpkin nut bread, I was like... Uh, I don't know how this is going to smell, but it smells so good. It's just like spiced pumpkin, um, and it's just really good. I've already burnt <laughs> quite a bit of it. But this was actually, um, I got this at Target in the dollar section. Well, in the, you know they have the dollar to three dollar section. This was three dollars in that section, and I really like the packaging. It's got like plaid wrap on it, and burn time up to 15 hours. And I just, I really like it, so it was cheap, and... Um, just something nice to have. Okay, next item is a drink. It is the Bigelow, hopefully I'm saying that right, uh, salted caramel tea. And the thing is, I don't like hot tea, and I don't like sweet tea. I wish I liked hot tea, but I don't. But I'm always wanting to try a new one, so I found this. And it, there's also a pumpkin spice and a apple spice maybe or an apple cidery tea type of thing but I had I wanted to try this one and I was like okay I'm gonna give it a go you know some hot tea um didn't like it uh put some sugar in it didn't like it even more <laughs> so what I actually did is I have like cups with lids and I put a bag in and then fill the cup with water and I put it in the fridge and let it brew like that so when I'm ready to drink it it's cold and it's completely brewed but I love this stuff. It is so good. It actually really does have like a really good caramel tone to it. Um, it's not sweet, which I like. Um, and you just like, when you smell it in the, in the, uh, cup, it just like this really strong scent. If you like hot tea, then definitely you can make it hot. Um, it's just not for me. But, and if you like sweet tea, you can add some sweetener to it. Um, but yeah, it is really good. So yes, salted caramel tea. Delicious. So, okay, the next one, I can't actually show you the product itself because I'm using it right now, and it is this. I've forgotten to mention in my last two videos, I think it was my last two videos, since I've had this, I got a new camera, and I was so excited about it. It's so much better quality, it focuses so much better when you zoom in, because um, I was previously using the Nikon Coolpix, uh, I don't know all the specifications on it, but um, that's just the one I had, so I'm just going to use it for vlogging now, and then I'm using this one for, you know, main channel stuff and photography. So here, it is the Canon PowerShot SX530 HS, and it actually has Wi-Fi, like it can connect the Wi-Fi and send the picture straight to your phone or computer, and that's pretty awesome. I haven't figured that out yet. I'm just like, I want to make it as simple as possible, so I just do the put it on the video setting for videos and the uh, picture setting for pictures. Um, I really, really like this. It makes me very happy. So, yeah, I just really like it. So I'm very excited about that and I hope you guys can tell the difference. Um, I can, so I'm like very excited about it. But this is my next one. It's so fuzzy. Oh my gosh, it's so cozy and comfy. I love it so much, and my cats love it too. They sleep on it all the time. Um, but anyway, so it's this blanket from JCPenney's, and it's like fuzzy on this side, and then, well, this is fuzzy, but just like a shorter fuzz, I guess, and a darker gray. And I've been wanting um, like a fuzzy gray blanket for a while to put on my bed, and then like for some decor, and then at night I can snuggle up with it, and or just during the day to read or whatever. 
I really like it. It was actually originally, I believe the original price was like 60 something. I did not pay that um, because a lot of the blankets I saw like this were very expensive. And I was like, I know I can find one cheaper. But, so it was originally like 60 something. And then it was on sale for 40 something. And I still wasn't going to pay that. But then I got a coupon from, you know, pennies in the mail. So I did end up getting it then. Um, and it was, you know, it ended up in the end being about $35, which is usually, it was just actually more than I would spend even on an item of clothing. Um, but I thought just this once I would splurge, you know, once in a while it's good to splurge on something that you really want. And if it's really good quality and everything and, um, I was just tired of looking too, but this is really good and I'm just very happy with the purchase. Yeah, good, good cozy blanket for fall and winter. I do have one more and it is these, these shoes. I got them from Charlotte Russe. They were having one of their $20 shoe sales, which I can never resist because they always have a pair of shoes I want. And I've wanted a pair like this for a while. So it's just like this, I don't even know, short booty with the chunky heel and it's like a dark brown color and they're actually really comfortable I mean I don't know I just really like them and they look really good with jeans with um, skirts um, a dress and like some leggings that would be cute but I just really really like them and they're good for just a really good fall piece and they'll be good going into winter as well so I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, if you did please go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below um, and if you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I usually make tutorials, um, sometimes some beauty related videos, and then of course favorite videos like this, but, um, mostly tutorials. If you haven't checked out my tutorial from last week, it was a DIY Rapunzel dress for Halloween, so definitely go check that out. I've got another costume coming up, um, I'm just waiting for <laughs> some stuff to come in the mail. Um, but if you have any requests, just let me know because I would like to, you know, help you guys out. But, um, yeah, I guess that's it. And, um, these are my favorites for this month. So I will see you guys next time. Bye!